Here's how to get Black Friday quality deals without actually waiting for Black Friday. Obviously, there are a lot of times where we have like fake sales during a Black Friday event because a lot of companies just use the same price that they've always charged, but then they put a red X over an inflated higher price just to make people think that it's a sale. So I'm gonna show you one method that I've been using where I just am able to buy almost anything I want from Amazon for a little bit cheaper than it normally is. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to Amazon, find any product you like. So I've been looking to buy a Kindle. I wanna read a little bit more. So I brought up the page for the Kindle Paperwhite 8 gigabytes. And you can see that there is a Black Friday deal right now of $120, it's normally 140. But here's one thing you have to keep in mind. This version of the Kindle has been out since 2021, which is around two years. I do not like paying anywhere close to the sticker price of a technology product that's old. And because of that, let's look at the price history of the Kindle. So I'm gonna go to a site called Camel Camel Camel. I'm just gonna paste the Amazon link from the product and then press enter. And then we get taken to a page where we can see the entire price history of the product. So even though it is on sale right now, it's normally 140, now it's 120. There were times when it was $95. And you can see for the entire history of sales for this specific version of the Kindle, it's actually been cheaper even though it's been earlier years. So even though the product existed for a long time already, it's been cheaper than it is today. So I'm probably not gonna buy it because of that. Obviously, this isn't the case for all deals. Sometimes a deal actually is a deal, but had you had alerts before on like price drops, you would have bought it. So I think this $95 was during Prime Day or something like that. Not sure what happened in the back over here. Maybe this was previous Black Friday deals, but random stuff goes on sale and off sale all the time. Uh, it could be anything from wanting to buy more dental floss. It could be buying paper towels. It could be literally any product you think of. All you have to do is paste a link into this website and it'll tell you the entire price history of what it was on Amazon. Now here's the best part. You don't always have to buy things during Black Friday either. You could just create a price watch over here. So you just click this, name the price you want. So let's say I want it when it's at $95. I just type in 95 and then I put my email in. One thing to keep in mind, and this is probably the best part of this site, they do not spam you. I use a separate email account for all these types of like stupid email signups. And from this website, I've actually gotten zero spam from them. They only email me when something good happens. So when a price drops, they email me and it's as simple as that. I click it, decide if I actually want it and I go from there. Now, obviously this is a financial independence retire early channel and I do not advocate for buying things just for the sake of buying things. So here's one thing that you may notice. I have this microphone over here and this mic stand. This mic stand cost me, I think like 13 bucks. And I really wanted one of those like professional mic stands or like boom arms where they, they cost like a hundred bucks or like the, the best one that people get. It's called like Gator Frameworks or something like that. And it costs like 120, 130, somewhere around there. And I've tried them in stores. I move them around. It's really smooth and stuff. But at the end of the day, what's a mic arm supposed to do? It's supposed to hold your microphone. Another thing I wanted was to replace this microphone with the SM7B. And they actually came out with a new microphone called the SM7DB as well. But I think I'm going to pass on all of those because a microphone, it just doesn't do that much. This microphone performs at around like 90% of the SM7B in my opinion. And because of that, like, do I really need a fork out? 400 bucks for a new mic, even if it goes on sale to like 375, let's say, do I really need to do that? So I guess you have to ask yourself before you look at any sale is, do you really need the product? Do I need to upgrade my $15 boom arm, which like granted, it's not the best constructed, but all the criticisms I've seen for this boom arm were that it would not last more than two years. I've been using this boom arm for maybe like, I think like three or four years now because that's when I started doing all this YouTube stuff. Yeah, actually four years ago, I was using this boom arm. And because of that, I just don't really believe when people break things. It's like with like clothes or something like that. People buy new clothes all the time. And the reason why they buy it is because they tell me their clothes like disintegrate or break. But I don't know what people are doing in their clothes where it just breaks so easily. Like, I don't know. I, I don't buy clothes that often and my clothes just don't break. I, I don't I don't know what people are doing in them. So maybe I just take care of my things a little bit more than other people, but I don't get it because I use my mic arm every single day because I've literally made like tons of YouTube videos and whatever. So I move it around too. It's not like I keep it locked in the same place. I readjust all the time without like loosening the screws. So. 
yeah, I don't know. Maybe it will break eventually, but until then, I'm just not going to replace it, even though those newer mic arms or like the best-in-class mic arms look really nice. Uh, they look better. I'm not going to say that they don't. Don't take like frugality to the opposite end of extreme where you like delude yourself into thinking worse products are better. I know a lot of people who are like that, but if I just need something to hold my microphone and it really doesn't affect the sound quality at all. It's not like I'm a professional singer recording an album here. I just don't need to buy those things. I don't know. So yeah, as much as you want to like abuse this site, because I use it for literally everything. I use it for like buying like my water filter, for example. I only buy my water filters on sale. And because like water filters don't expire, I can just buy it when it's like at a steep discount and then just like leave it in my closet until I need to use it. One last tip that I want to leave you all with, and this one is a little counterintuitive, and that is just because you need something doesn't mean you should wait for a sale either. Sometimes you just need something right now. Go ahead and just buy it, you know, like. Go and buy, enjoy it. If you need food, for example, you're not going to wait for a food sale and go hungry because you like wanted to wait till next week to buy whatever you wanted to buy. Like there are some things that you just need to buy. So you don't really have a choice in that. Uh, so if I had like no microphone, for example, and I needed to record videos, then obviously, yeah, I'd have to buy a microphone if mine broke or whatever. But actually, that's a lie. I'm using a different microphone than what I normally use right now. And I also have this one over here. So I guess I don't actually need to buy one. But like, ah, man, I have so much random stuff that like I wish I didn't buy. But I've been doing a pretty good job throughout like my whole career or whatever you want to call it because yeah a lot of people can't believe how little money i spend but literally if you only buy like tech products especially either at launch or only if they go on discount one of the two right because there is some value in buying new tech because it's like does a lot more than whatever the previous generations did but only buy it when it comes out or when it goes on sale for the first time or like in subsequent times when you don't need it right away don't feel too bad about buying stuff on black friday but like control yourselves like we're trying to like reduce our consumption we're trying to like save some money and every dollar that you save today obviously can buy you more things tomorrow so like if you just be patient like good things will happen but again if you really need something then like yeah get it but just don't fall for those like egregious black friday scams where like some companies just put artificially high prices just to pretend that there's a sale if any of these tips or my previous videos have helped you out, I would appreciate it if you did check out my Amazon page though. It has everything I use for like my stream and YouTube setup. But the best part about this thing is, is that I can get a small commission of anything that you buy, even if it's not something listed here. So if you click the link and then go do your normal shopping as you normally would, like I do get like a small bonus. Obviously, again, only buy stuff that you actually need. Uh, because like it defeats the whole purpose and like we should be like anti-consumerism as much as we can etc cetera, etc cetera. but it's a small way to kind of support the channel for free because everything literally costs the same to you and like it's a click you know but yeah if you want to learn more about my budgeting though check out this video over here